Bridges, Miller, Williams, Green, and Bridges again. They're all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today. It is Wednesday, January 31st. We're talking DraftKings, but we're doing it after this. First, like, subscribe, notification bell, follow me on Twitter, and then sign up at Stochastic. NBA package will get you projections, ownership, our boom bust tool, contest generator, the Sims tool, our lineup generator, and premium Discord. If you wanna know what we have behind the paywall, the links are in the description. First up at number five, I've got Anthony Edwards, point guard, shooting guard, eligible, 8,300, projected for 48, the goal is 60, He's in the winning lineup 23% of the time. I went 36 minutes here for Edwards. Really nice matchup against Dallas. No Luka, no Kyrie. They could really destroy this Mavericks team, but if they do, I think Edwards has a lot to do with it. 36 minutes, 1.35 fantasy points per minute, 28 points, five boards, five assists, two stocks. All of this looks great. I like the positionality is weird, but I'll take what I can get. He's got the MPE. I'm expecting big things out of the Wolves. At number four, we've got Kawhi Leonard, small forward, power forward, eligible, 8,200, projected for 48. The goal is 60. He's in the winning lineup 24% of the time. I went 36 minutes here for Kawhi. Basically the same story as Edwards, similar price, MPE, matchup against the Wizards instead of the Mavs, but basically the same thing. 26 points, 27 real points, sorry, 26 usage punch in the microphone. 27 real points, seven boards, four assists, two and a half stocks. It's obviously a fantastic spot against the Wizards. I want to try to get to a lot of Kawhi Leonard, assuming he plays. In at number three, we've got P.J. Washington. Power forward, center eligible, 5,800. Projected for 35. The goal is 46. Winning lineup 29% of the time. Competitive matchup here against the Bulls. Doesn't look like we're going to have LaMelo Ball. Terry Rozier not around anymore. No Gordon Hayward. So 34 minutes for P.J. Washington. A fantasy point per minute. He's 17 and a half points, six boards, three assists, and two stocks. He's going to fill up the stat sheet. There's plenty of minutes to go around. And the fact that you can put him in at power forward makes things way easier. And now we get to the no doubt about it. Number two, Tim Hardaway Jr. Shooting guard, small forward, eligible 6K, projected for 41. The goal is 47. He's in the winning lineup 52% of the time. I went 35 minutes here for Hardaway. With these guys off the floor, no Luka, no Kyrie, 1.1 fantasy points per minute, 28 real points, four boards, two and a half assists, a steal. It is an absolutely dreadful matchup against Minnesota. But when you take Kyrie off and you take Luka off, everything gets better for the Dallas Mavericks. But nothing looks better than Jaden Hardy, point guard, shooting guard, eligible 4,400, projected for 33. The goal is 38. He's in the winning lineup 53% of the time. I think he's stepping into 30 minutes, and he is just not priced for this role. He's a fantasy point per minute dude. 18 points, four boards, four assists. We're talking 27% usage. It is a terrible matchup. They just don't have enough bodies that I don't think Hardy, like I think Hardy has to get major playing time. He'll be the easiest guy you roster today. Jaden Hardy's the number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Wednesday, January 31st. FanDuel version's around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We're back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.